Almost a year ago, I reviewed the Hollyland Mars 400S wireless monitoring system, and I liked it a lot. In fact, it's earned a permanent place on the back of my FX9. And now there's a new version, the Mars 400S Pro. It's a radical departure in styling, and it looks a bit Transformers, robots in disguise. Sorry. So naturally, I'm interested in what's new in the 400S Pro. What's been transformed? What? <laughs> Content like this just doesn't happen, you know. Ta -da. So full disclosure here, I haven't bought this 400S Pro. It's been sent to me by Hollyland for review. But I think I can be impartial here because I'm not going to compare this to any other product. I'm only really interested in what's different to my original 400S, which I love. Well, the smart packaging is much the same, with a mains unit and a spare aerial. But there's no need for any mounting bracket because we've got the cold shoe mount built right in. In fact, that's the easiest way to spot the transmitter from the receiver. One's red and one's blue, which is useful because otherwise these two units look identical. All the connections are the same, USB, power, HDMI and SDI, but you can now power the unit through the USB-C connector. So that gives you three options for power with the built-in L-type battery plates on both the transmitter and the receiver. It's a shame you can't get all the connections down one face. Having some on the back and some on the side really restricts your mounting options if you're going for a permanent rig like me. However, being able to convert from HDMI to SDI or SDI to HDMI as you cross from the transmitter to the receiver, that's brilliant. I regularly connect SDI from the camera but use it with an HDMI monitor. So physically, I'm not seeing any reason to want to swap my old unit out for the new Pro. In fact, I'm not really sure about the styling. To my eyes, these look less Pro than the original 400S, even a bit more consumer. But the styling isn't really important. It's the performance that counts. So let's turn them on. Something that's really impressive with all these Hollyland units is how quickly they power up and connect to each other or an iPad or a phone, up to four iPads or phones. There's nothing worse than standing in front of your client starting small chat to cover up the embarrassing wait for your gear to boot up. took less than 30 seconds. The only real moan I had about my 400S system was the fan noise in both the transmitter and the receiver. The great news is that this has been completely solved with this Pro version. We've now got full control over the fan speed through the menu. We can run it in auto, slow, or even turn it off altogether. Happy days. And that's a big plus to this Pro version. And to make it sound even better, it's a quieter fan anyway. So as usual, I went into the difficult environment of a steel-reinforced underground garage to look at the range. Line of sight was a solid picture for the full length of the garage, which is almost 300 feet long. I had to go up one floor and way out of sight before losing picture. The range on this 400S Pro system seems to be almost identical to my old 400S, which is a good thing because it's a solid performer. Something I did notice when checking the range was the picture quality looked a little better. I had to go back to the specs to work out why, but the 400S Pro actually uses a higher bitrate than the original 400S. Because I've got an FX9, I often use the LUTs on the Hollyland app when shooting log. It's a long story, but thank you for that, Sonny. And the extra bit rate from the 400S Pro is really noticeable when using LUTs. You can see it, especially in reduced banding in graduated colours. Overall, there's a noticeable improvement in picture quality with this unit, and that's very welcome. 
The quality of the Holy Land app has also improved over the last year with quite a few updates. It loads fast and has all the features that you'd expect from Pro Gear, like user LUTs, zebras, waveforms, frames. It's nicely done. A main concern with any wireless monitoring system is latency or lag or delay. I'm in Europe and so I usually use 25 frames per second, but when I originally tested my FX9, I discovered it had almost a three frame delay just using a BNC cable to the monitor. I never realized you lost that amount of time just using a cable. Anyway, the original Hollyland 400S gave just under a three frame delay at 25 frames per second, and that's really impressive. So I also connected the 400S Pro to my FX9, pointing at a clock. This time, running up 50 frames per second for a bit more accuracy. Looking at it frame by frame, we can see that we've still got that delay along a cable, even to the camera viewfinder. But looking at the Hollyland receiver, or even my very old iPad, we can see that the delay from the transmitter is now around 4 or 5 fiftieths of a second. Or to put it another way, about 2 frames at 25 frames per second. So this is a definite improvement. But would I be able to spot it? Probably not. But any improvement in latency is always welcome. Finally, there's a new option with the 400S Pro. If you get a USB to Ethernet adapter, you can live stream directly from the receiver. And in this world of remote working, streaming from a wireless camera directly to a computer could be really useful. I'm already thinking, using this, I can easily wirelessly stream live from any SDI or HDMI device. So to summarize, if I'm comparing this Mars 400S Pro system to my original 400S unit and ignoring the styling, which I'm still really not sure about, the Pro now has a controllable fan. You can actually turn it off, which is great. It has slightly better latency or less delay, and you can live stream directly from the receiver onto your computer or a network. But most importantly, the picture quality is noticeably improved with a higher bit rate. These are all great improvements and they make the Mars 400S Pro a really impressive wireless monitoring solution. So would I upgrade my 400S to the new Pro version? No. Although the improvements are all really welcome, I don't think it's worth the cost to upgrade, mainly because the 400S is still works brilliantly as it did before. But if I was in the market for a new wireless monitor, then that would be a hard yes. I would definitely choose the Mars 400S Pro because the best just got a little bit better. Thanks for watching.